We were talking about this last week, and recently we lost an important member of our community, and that was uh, former Mayor Carol Whiteside. And uh, she was an honorary Rotarian of this club. And we've asked our fellow Rotarian and friend, Kristen Olson, to say a few words. So Kristen, I hope you're able to join us. Great, thank you, President Ryan. I am here. Can you hear me okay? We sure can, thank okay, you. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you for this moment to honor our friend and fellow Rotarian, Carol Whiteside. She had been an honorary member of our club since I believe 2007, all the way until her passing. And I had the pleasure of, of first getting to know Carol and meeting Carol, I believe when I was just elected to the city council. I don't think yet we had yet met when I was on the planning commission, but we instantly had a connection because we had a shared passion for community beautification efforts and aesthetics. And I remember she used to drive me all around town and show me all the things that would drive her nuts that um, she and I would try to try to solve together. And then not long after I was on the city council, she invited me to the Great Valley Leadership Institute that she used to run through the Great Valley Center. And it was always up at Fish Camp in Yosemite. I don't know if any other Rotarians um, ever went to that GVLI program for her with her for local elected officials, but it was truly transformational in my life. And Carol Whiteside is one of those one of those few figures who had a transformational impact on so many lives in Modesto, across Stanislaus County, and across the San Joaquin Valley and beyond, in part because of these GVLI programs that she put on. Um, and while I was there, I just had an epiphany, and it literally changed the way I approach life, I approach public service, and I credit Carol Whiteside and the opportunities she gave me through, through the programs that she facilitated. And she's done that for hundreds and hundreds of local elected officials across the state of California. We, many of you know her very, very well. She was uh, Modesto's second female mayor and we're just now on the third. So she was a trailblazer in so many ways. She loved our home community, just loved our home community and was committed to it for as long as she could be. Um, I love, I have loved over the last couple of weeks reading different tweets about her, everyone from Dan Walters to current and former state and federal elected officials and agency secretaries, all of them, it didn't matter their geography or their ideology, they all loved Carol and had such a passion for, um, for her life, for her public service and what she did in this state. And it's a real point of pride, I believe for Modesto because it was her hometown and the town she loved as an adult and raised her kids in with her husband, John. Um, for those, some have asked me how they can honor Carol and if there are specific ways that her family or friends have mentioned honoring her. And if you're interested in doing that, there is a fund at the Modesto Symphony that you can donate to in her honor. She was had a real passion for the symphony. And then another option is the UC Merced Foundation, the California Emerging Technology Fund, which Carol was on the board for, has a scholarship fund there to support women pursuing careers in STEM and similar fields. And you could support Carol and honor Carol by augmenting that scholarship fund at UC Merced Foundation. If you need more information on those, feel free to reach out to me. But I want to thank uh, President Ryan for this time to honor our friend, our fellow Rotarian, Carol Whiteside. I'm so glad she's no longer suffering. The last couple years were pretty rough. And, and now she's celebrating a pain-free, joy-filled life with her husband, John. So thank you, President Ryan. Thank you very much, Kristen. That was a very... That was a very heartfelt tribute and we thank you very much. Last week we had a nice moment of silence for Carol Whiteside and I tell you what, let's give her another round of applause for everything she's done. And thank you very much, Kristen, we really appreciate it.